Today, let's talk about how to get good at any video game. That's right. Any competitive video game, basically anything you want to get good at as a gamer, you're at the right place. Let's get right into it. All right, let's talk about how to be a better gamer here in 2022, early 2023. A competitive gamer basically means you're playing against other people online. And that can be very intimidating. And that's where already you're doing your first mistake. Intimidation is something you are going to want to be doing, not taking it the other way around. So in competitive video games, there's often titles that define your ranks. I would turn that off. You shouldn't worry about the title of your opponent. First of all, that creates intimidation in itself. Turn off titles. Okay. So Rocket League, obviously, turn, turn off the titles. Like, you don't need to know that he's a Season 3 Grand Champion. <laughs> or a Season 6 Supersonic Legend Tournament Winner Division 4. Like, who cares? Turn that shit off. I play a lot of Rocket League. I love Rocket League. Rocket League for me is just... It's, uh... It gives me that rush. I play competitively all the time. I'm always playing against other people. I don't care the age. What I'm playing against is the player on the field in the game. So if you're playing Call of Duty or you're playing uh, anything that involves playing against other people, we're going to talk about something here that is pretty obvious, but at the same time, we don't think about it. But you're going to need a whole bunch of confidence in whatever you're doing. So if you're playing Call of Duty, you're going to want to be confident in your your movements your shots if you're playing a competitive shooter game then yeah you're going to want to be confident in your your play style so how do you develop confidence you have to play the game a lot you have to become familiar with all the mechanics involved in the game you have to know how to defend against offensive mechanics i mean rocket league in itself if we're talking about rocket league or any esport what you want to be doing is just analyzing I lost my train of thought. If you want to be like in the top 1%, then you need to put in the time, hours. You need to really like the game because it has to be fun for you. If it's not, if you're not having fun, you're probably not going to be good at it, right? So basically, if you want to get good at any competitive video game, you have to be familiar with the mechanics. You have to get used to the comfort of the game. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put in like thousands of hours if you want to be a highly competitive gamer at any game here right so like if you're playing shooters you've been playing shooters for thousands of hours you're probably going to be good at a lot of shooter games right like i'm not good at shooter games i have no hours logged barely any hours onto shooter games so i'm not going to be really good but i do have like thousands of hours in games like nhl rocket league I'll probably have a couple hundred hours of spider-man like other like all controller based games I, I played with a controller my whole life so any controller video game out there i'll probably be a competitive uh competitive player anyways you have to be aware of the mechanics in any video game to defend versus the mechanics that are in the game if you don't know the mechanics in the game so you don't know what's coming at you so how are you supposed to defend right I mean, that's like the basics, right? So we could go into more detail about every single mechanic, but basically, if you want to be in the top 1% of any competitive video game, you're going to have to put in the hours. Obviously, you have to like the game. And basically, look, I only play one game, Rocket League. That's it. When I have time to play a video game, I play Rocket League. Sometimes when I'm not down to playing Rocket League, I'll play some Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. I like Spider-Man. The Spider-Man game keeps me calm. I'm not sure if you guys learned anything, but if you did, that's pretty cool. I'm Joey. See you guys next time. Peace out.